hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Eki. if it's the first time here you're welcome if you are a subscriber thank you so much for coming back today's video is how to apply foundation for beginners if you are a beginner i'm sure you'll be loving this video this video is going to be step by step on how to achieve a flawless foundation so first of all my face is bare like i have nothing on my face right now so i'm going to be showing you how to prep your skin before you apply your foundation as a beginner you need a good base for you to be able to get a flawless um, foundation blend and again having a good skin it's a very very important part if your skincare routine sucks you really need to change or step up your skincare routine or if you don't do skincare routine at all you really need to because my skin went through a lot and during that process i actually was struggling you know getting uh, a proper or a flawless blend when it comes to my foundation and um, i tried all my best to you know get my skin looking like this maybe i'll be leaving a video somewhere here or here for you to see how bad my skin was i bricked out like a lot so i tried all my possible best to stay true to my skincare routine i'll be leaving that down in my description box if you want to see that is affordable skincare routine when you have a good skin you will not need to struggle too much you know in blending your foundation and it's gonna make your work a lot more easier than when you have bad skin you try to cover a lot of things which will take more time than the normal and also you might not especially for beginners you might find it difficult for you to cover those or some of those imperfections on your skin so try as much as possible as you can to stay true to your skincare routine first for my prepping i start off with a setting mist or if you have rose water you can spray that on your face but i'm gonna be spraying this setting mist from Tia's. So I always let that dry down. You can just fan your face so to hasten the whole thing up before I go in with any other thing. Like I said, I always love to work on a clean base. Make sure that your skin is clean. Right now I'll be going in with a moisturizer. This is from Avino. This is a daily moisturizing lotion. So I'm going to be going in with this. So I just put a little of this right on my palm. Uh, at the back of my palm a little goes a long way this moisturizer does not leave my skin greasy or any of sorts it doesn't leave white casts on my skin you can use uh, a moisturizer that has SPF, SPF to protect your skin from direct sunlight this moisturizer just leave my skin feeling very soft no matter the skin type you are oily combination or dry skin you need to moisturize your skin so i'm um, combination i get oily around my t-zone i always moisturize my skin before i go in with any primer so next i'll be going in with a primer this um pons primer this is oil controlling primer so for primers it also depends on the skin type if you're oily if your combination if you are dry skin that depends on the kind of primer that you're supposed to use so if you're oily you i suggest you stay true to mattifying primer i always love to concentrate that primer more on my t-zone because this is where i produce most of the oil around my brow areas and then the bridge of my nose and then around my mouth i just take whatever is left to the other part of my face this is because i don't get oily at the side at all if you're a sweaty kind of person i suggest you go for something that has sweat block okay so you can keep your foundation or you can keep your makeup in place all day so one thing you would not want to do is to um you know apply that primer like a mattifying primer underneath your eyes because this 
area is very delicate you don't want to leave this area feeling dry. next thing we are going to be doing is to choose our foundation test our foundation and then apply first you need to know your undertones so you know what shade of foundation that you are supposed to use as a beginner i talked about understone i have a video that i explained in details what undertones mean types of undertones methods which you can detect which undertones you belong to so i'll be leaving the link down in my description box so, and in that video i also talked about how to customize foundation to get a proper match okay so i'll be using both of this foundation this is Maybelline Super Stay in 330 Toffee Caramel. This is a little bit lighter than my skin tone or a half shade lighter than my skin tone if there's any word like that. And then here I have the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2 in 1 foundation in number 11 Amber. This is like a half tone if there's any word as well like that lighter or sorry darker than my skin tone so now i'm in the warm tone family and i chose foundation that belong to that range i also talked about skin type um we have the medium we have the light and we also have the deep so now as an african a nigerian i belong to the deep family so i chose range of foundation belonging to that family okay i'm gonna be mixing both of this foundation to see exactly how that will match my skin tone but before then i'm gonna be swatching that foundation for you to see so i'm swatching the melani in number 11 amber this is a little bit darker than my skin tone i'm gonna be swatching the mebling so here it looks like something that would have matched my skin tone but is a little bit lighter so i'm gonna be mixing both of this foundation to get a proper match to my skin tone a simpler way for you to customize foundation that will suit your skin tone the best is having a darker shade of foundation maybe the Maybelline superstay or um, Milani whichever works for you or you can get the NYX um, uh, not, um, can't stop won't stop foundation usually I use the darker shade of this foundation in a Maybelline that's in number 360 if I'm not mistaken that's in a um, truffle trophy to mix any light foundation you know why it is easier to mix like to customize a lighter shade of foundation with a more darker one than maybe something like this supposing the pump was okay i would have been taking like two or three pumps of this depending and then like half or one pump of this and then i'm just mixing that together so this is the result for mixing both of them so i'm gonna be trying this right on my skin to see how that matches my skin so i think it's still dark so i need to add a little of this one more time and mix once again this is how the customized one looks like so i'll be blending I'll be applying this right now on my skin. My go-to tools for applying foundation is my blending, my damn beauty sponge. And then use a brush like this to swipe the foundation on my skin just like so. But you can use your fingers and just tap on the foundation. But this is my go-to method for applying foundation on my skin. So I just feel like this helped my foundation to, you know, sit well. And also when you're testing your foundation, allow your foundation to sit on your skin before. That's the only way you can know if the foundation is truly your undertone or a proper match for you. I'm feeling a little bit dry on my lips, so I'll be moisturizing using the Blue Seal Vaseline. 
to keep my lips moisturized. So after um, spraying the uh, foundation on my skin, I would like to spray my face one more time. So I'm going in with my damp beauty sponge. So this helps to take off excess products from my skin and help blend the foundation well into my skin. So I allow the setting mist to dry down just a little bit before I go in with my damp beauty sponge. And I like to steeple my foundation into my skin. Just push it in gently with a very light hand. You apply this without pressure. I like to go layer by layer, especially if you have blemishes you need to cover. Blaze Vaste is a full coverage foundation, so if your skin is not having much of that blemishes, I don't really see the need to go in with a color corrector. You can just use your foundation and then cover up whatever imperfection you want to cover if it's a full coverage foundation. So I'm just going into that foundation right at the back of my hand to cover up the areas that I feel needs more coverage. If I feel any other place needs coverage, I just go in and concentrate right on that area. You don't need to go all over again, all over the face so that you will not have a cakey foundation by the time you're done blending. You want to blend your foundation to your hairline. You don't want to have a face that all of this area is, this is where your foundation stop. So you have to blend into your hairline so that you have that seamless look. Tipling your foundation into your skin so that I won't be having that or uh, streaks on my skin or moving my product around or having some patches. You know, when you are pushing in your foundation with so much tenacity. So for me, I don't like going in right underneath my eyes with so much foundation because I'm still gonna highlight underneath my eyes so there is no no need to go underneath the eyes with too much um, foundation if not you be leaving on the eyes you be leaving your under eyes looking um, too heavy and it will end up caking so try to bring down your foundation to your neck because you want everything to look seamless you do not want your face to look different from your neck and also bring to your ears so that everything will look like one okay so yeah guys that is it that is it for a flawless foundation you want to match your foundation to your neck to your chest and then to your face if you notice i am not different my chest my neck and my face is not different from each other this is exactly how you want to apply your foundation you know choose your foundation properly match it well if need be you customize it to get your perfect undertone so yeah guys that is it for this video i hope you got one or two tips from this video if you love this video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new uploads stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys